OK, perfect. So uh, welcome. Hello. Uh, good morning, afternoon, or good evening, uh, wherever you are based on. Uh, so uh, today, I'm going to talk a bit about um, Android App Bundle, um, so from start to deployment, so how you can uh, give a start with a bundle and how you can set up your uh, your CI CD for deploying your, your new application uh, with Android App Bundle to the Play Store. Uh, so uh, a bit of introduction. I'm Julian Selvi. I'm a senior Android uh, engineer at Aircall in Paris, in France. I recently became an Android GD and I'm an, an, organizator, an organizator at the, the Paris Android user group, uh, listening to music and drinking IPA beers. And you can find me on Twitter uh, at Julian Selvi. So uh, what's up for today? Uh, talking about uh, Android App Bundle. So we see uh, what it looks like and what it is really. Uh, how we can ship uh, ship small and move fast. And then I'll uh, uh, to, I'll take you to uh, the journey of uh, Android App Bundle uh, from the, uh, the small Gradle script. Uh, you can you can add to your Gradle build and uh, to your implementation and uh, your CI CD. And uh, I'll finish by uh, how you can handle uh, testing with uh, Android App Bundle, because uh, you cannot directly install uh, AAB uh, on your device. So you'll have to do some tricks to, to do so. So uh, big question, uh, what's Android App Bundle? Uh, so Android App Bundle is a new, uh, it's a new package. It's a, it's a new package made by Google. Um, it's there for optimizing the APK size and only deliver what the, the user needs and only deliver the, the key feature uh, for, for, for your application. So uh, it was possible uh, to, to split your APKs by ABIs, by language, but you will have to manage a lot of APKs uh, on your side. And it, was maybe time consuming. You have to do a lot of stuff with your CI CDs. Uh, and yeah, uh, it was not very uh, efficient in, in our side. So Google introduced the, uh, the Android uh, app bundle. So you will have to provide this new AAB file um, on the Play Store. Uh, it will ship the, the dedicated uh, and optimized APK to your user. So for example, here, uh, let's say uh, your user has a Pixel 2 XL uh, set up in English. Uh, you have the triple X HDPI. Uh, it's a uh, NAM64. Um, so what the ABB uh, and the Play Store will, will, will do is that uh, picking up the, the right architecture and the right uh, density and the right language to build an APK uh, that will fit perfectly uh, the, the user needs and the, the user device. So um, under the hood, uh, what, uh, this is what uh, they are in the, in the AAB. So you will have your, your base module. So uh, basically what you have in your, uh, in your APK, so in your APK, so you have your manifest, text files, uh, all your resources, uh, your assets, uh, your native libraries, and so on. And uh, you have also your uh, bundle metadata in order to, to dispatch uh, the, 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 right, uh, the right data to, to your devices. And then you may have also uh, some dynamic feature. Um, uh, it has been introduced uh, a little bit after Android App Bundle, when you can deliver uh, only a feature on the go. Uh, for example, uh, if you are building games or you are building an extra feature of, uh, on your application, and it's not needed uh, when, the, when the user starts using your application. So, you can make your module a dynamic feature, and it will be downloaded uh, when the user will need this uh, this feature. Actually, it can be an extra an extra level in the game, or it could be like um, a paid feature, like to go in a in a specific like in app feature, whatever you want. Uh, uh, so 
it can be interesting here uh, if you want to um, not to recombine and redistribute an, um, an, uh, an APK to all your user and only enable or disable this, uh, this dynamic feature. Then also you add uh, so uh, delivery assets. So here, this is mostly for, for games because um, when you are building games with, uh, for example, Unity, uh, the Unity engine, um, your package can be very, very big. Uh, so it has a lot of textures, sound materials, and shader, and so on. So uh, it takes a lot of place on the device. Um, you have the limitation on the Play Store, so uh, you cannot exceed. Uh, now it's uh, 150 megabyte, I think. Um, so uh, for downloading all these assets, uh, you can wait until the uh, like the base APK uh, is downloaded by the user. So it will be a, like a small download on the Play Store, and then uh, we'll download on the go the all the assets needed for for your game or uh, I don't know AR VR experience uh, as you want. So uh, that's what the Android app bundle uh, files look like on the inside. So uh, what does it bring to us using AAB? So as I said, it's a new publication format introduced by Google. Um, so we are producing a AAB extension file uh, instead of an APK. Uh, this will allow us to distribute smaller APK to our user uh, with the Play Store. And uh, it will also enable the use of the play feature and assets delivery to uh, optimize the, the, the feature on the, on the assets we have on our application. And it will have uh, a bit of a green impact, like a, a positive impact on the, uh, on the environment because uh, smallest, uh, smallest APK means like less downloading, less power usage, and, uh, less storage use on the device, and we all will will be happy about uh, that. Um, so, for example, here uh, I'm analyzing uh, an APK I used to to build uh, at work. So this was our old APK stuff, um, like the the fat one. And as you can see, uh, we have uh, a lot of native library, which takes a lot of place uh, on the on the device. So almost almost 70, 70 megabytes. And we also have like uh, 2.5 megabytes of resources. So we can optimize this um, by using the Android app, app bundle. So if we look at it on the on the Play Store. So here it is. So I'm analyzing here uh, my old APK. And as you can see, on the lib, uh, lib folder, you have all your native libraries here. So if you support uh, uh, x86, uh, the ARM architecture, and many other uh, architecture, but this is the main, main four. Um, if you are building a fat APK, uh, it will have uh, a lot of uh, incidents in your, in your uh, application size. And also here you have all the identity on the resource uh, resource folder, uh, which is embedded uh, in your in your application. So uh, also this can be reduced to to specially target uh, the needs of your user and of their devices. Uh, so let's get back to the slides. Uh, uh, well, well um, so um, if I look at the AAB um, that I've uh, generated for uh, the application, so it takes some time to, uh, to analyze here. Uh, all right, so we have our base, um, so our base for our APK. It will contain all the libraries, but this will be targeted with the right architecture. Um, and this is the, the debug, so the debug AAB, so uh, not really optimized yet. And you have all the stuff you have in your uh, old APK, but this will be handled by the um, by the Play Store to uh, 
build the dedicated AV care to, to your devices. So uh, it looks the same, uh, but it's not the same uh, at the, on the output. Uh, so uh, as you can see, it's uh, it's almost the same uh, for the the AB. But uh, as I said, uh, your user will be happy with a uh, with uh, a tinier APK uh, on their side. So key advantage here, um, for example, um, when we made the change from building an APK uh, to building an AB, we see like. Uh, 21 megabytes of uh, size uh, we we cropped from our uh, our application, so we optimize our APK by almost 60 percent, uh, and that's huge. So we have reduced the uh, the the APK size by by 60 percent for for our users. Uh, so this means less less download time uh, also for our user when they uh, they download the, the a new update or a, a fresh new app. And um, yeah, we save a little bit of planet. So uh, Google made uh, a little uh, plugin on the uh, uh, on Android Studio uh, with the, to get a, a math score. Um, you can see. Uh, what would be the advantage of going uh, with uh, with uh, Android App Bundle uh, if you are not yet using it? Um, it's, a, it's a very nice thing. You, you, you'll get some uh, nice stats about uh, your application and the library you, know, you are using. Uh, and for us, uh, when we run the, um, the math score on, the, on Android Studio, uh, so yeah, uh, we get like 60% uh, of saving uh, for for using an Android app bundle. Um, if we are uh, like a, a medium app user, uh, this will save like 22 terabytes of data. Uh, yeah, that's quite huge. And it's trusted by many other companies. Uh, so for example, Duolingo, LinkedIn, Netflix, and, uh, they are all using Android app bundle. Um, it saves uh, a lot of uh, uh, storage on the user part, um, uh, less downloading time. So yeah, it's a it's a real benefit. Yeah. So uh, do I need to migrate to Android App Bundle right now? Well, uh, it's not mandatory for existing applications uh, that are already on the Play Store, but it has many benefits. So yeah, uh, you should go for it, but if you are distributing your application outside the Play Store, maybe not, because for, uh, for now it's only supported by the Play Store, and you uh, won't be able to distribute your AB uh, outside the Play Store on, uh, on, custom, um, on custom stores. But if you are building a brand new app, uh, yeah, and actually you, you must go for Android App Bundle uh, if you want to distribute your application uh, on the Play Store. Because uh, from uh, August 2021, um, the Android App Bundle uh, format will be mandatory for, for new applications uh, in the Play Store. So now we are all set and know uh, some stuff about the Android App Bundle. Uh, let's see how we can configure our application. Uh, so uh, from the Gradle point of view to our CI CVs and some testing. So the, the journey to Android App Bundle. Uh, so it will start with a, a little update of your, of your code base. Uh, then we'll see uh, how you can like, uh, automate all the things with, uh, with CircleCI and Fastlane uh, to deploy on, a, on, a play, uh, on the Play Store. Um, see, after uh, we are all set, may I, we may implement some uh, Play feature or asset delivery, up to you. So let's see how, uh, how we can do it. So on your Gradle build, uh, you just add on the Android Lambda, uh, you'll add the, the bundle Lambda here, and you'll define the language, the density, and the ABI. So uh, here, 
we can enable or disable the, the language split, uh, split. For example, if you want to support um, switching language at, run, at runtime uh, inside your application, uh, uh, you will have to put the enable split at false in order to keep all the language you want uh, for doing this switch at, at the runtime. Otherwise, if you don't want to support uh, this language, language switch, uh, you can uh, enable the, the language split, uh, split. And then uh, you can split also by density. So this means that uh, your APK will be split by uh, the, the different uh, density, MDPA, HDPA, QPLX, HDPA, all the, the density you are supported. And then also the most important here, uh, it's splitting by ABI, especially if you use uh, some native libraries, um, the .so libraries uh, you're using in your, in your applications. Uh, so this will split by architecture, so ARM64, x86, and so on. Uh, and for building our brand new uh, AAB file, uh, we'll need to launch the, the Gradle task, the bundle release or bundle debug or bundle uh, the flavor you want uh, and uh, debug or release. So let's see how it looks like here uh, on a sample app. So just uh, blue uh, app uh, bundle, uh, bundle debug, for example. All right, so let's start building. Uh, hopefully, it won't take too long here. So as you can see here on the, um, on the Gradle build file, so oh, nice, 30 seconds. Um, so here, uh, the build is successful, and we can check on the outputs. Uh, so uh, this is when you run your application, so you get an APK uh, that will be downloaded on your phone. And when you run the, the command line I show you, so we'll generate the bundle, and the bundle uh, is the AAB file here, so the, the app debug, debug here. So um, on this, you are your Lambda here, so I, I don't want to split by language, but I want to split by density and then I, by ABIs. Uh, so let's back to the slides now. Um, so now we know how to build our AAB file. Uh, let's see how we can uh, automate all the things with uh, with Circle CI, for example, uh, that the, the CI uh, we are using uh, at my company. So I won't go into too much detail about Circle CI, how you, you build jobs, tasks, and so on. So uh, our job is to, like, to release a new application. So we'll, uh, we'll use Fastlane uh, for deploying on the Play Store. So one of the steps will be uh, installing Fastlane, uh, Fastlane uh, with, the, um, with the job. Once uh, Fastlane is in installed, uh, so we'll have to run um, the Play Store lane. So it's a little uh, script. Uh, I'll show you the next slide. Um, with a bundle exec fast lane and the, the name of the lane uh, uh, we just build right here. Um, so fast lane will allow us to, uh, to build and deploy uh, our application to the Play Store. So, for example, here um, we are building our um, our production uh, application. So we are calling the task uh, bundle aircore release uh, to 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 build our final AAB uh, uh, to be to be uploaded on the on the Play Store. Uh, we set all the um, all the signing keys and password and so on uh, for uh, for our new AAB to be signed. And then we'll use the, uh, the fast lane method here uh, called uh, upload to Play Store. So it's available on uh, with fast lane. Uh, no, no need to to know more here. 
So here's the trick is uh, you will have to skip the APK upload because uh, now we, we want to upload uh, an AV file. So the trick is you have to make sure it's false, not true. <laughs> uh, when you want to upload an AV file, so it's a bit disturbing. But yeah, the, that's uh, that's the case. <laughs> Uh, so make sure you you skip upload A B to false, and then I'm targeting the the production track to to deploy to our user. But if you want to deploy uh, on the Play Store uh, for for beta testers, for example, you can target the beta the beta des test testing track. And we decide to to roll out uh, to our user uh, at thirty percent. So thirty percent of our user um, will have access to the the new the new update. Um, but we are ready, um, the application is stable, uh, we can roll out uh, at 100%. Uh, so here it will generate the AB, uh, AB, uh, AAB file, uh, the, it will be signed and then sent to the, um, to the Play Store. But before doing that, uh, make sure on the Play Store uh, part um, you have uh, I'll check on the yeah next slide. Um, you have here on the right uh, the app signing uh, uh, entry here, and make sure you add you have enable the app signing on the Play Store part. Um, it's mandatory to to distribute a bundle to 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 our users. Uh, if you if you if you didn't do that, uh, the the bundle signature won't work. Um, uh, you won't be distributing any APK to to your users. So um, if you go on the Play Store, so if this is on the Play Console, if you go to the uh, App Bundle Explorer um, here, you will have access to all the APK uh, you can generate with your AAB. So depending on all the devices you are supporting on the Play Store, you can build the right APK uh, for the for a specific device and a specific Android version. So this is very nice, uh, if, especially if you want to like to test a particular particular version um, of your application to a specific device. Um, this is uh, this is nice to to get the the like the right APK uh, for for testing sessions. So uh, now we have like downloading and uploading to the Play Store, uh, like binding the right APKs for for our users and the uh, and devices. Uh, we are all set, but we we want to make sure on uh, the the QS side everything's okay. And um, let's see how we can end link the testing with uh, with Android Ad Bundle. So handling the testing, how you can test a B file. Mm, so you cannot like test and deliver direct uh, a B files. Um, you cannot install uh, this this format on your on your device. It's not supported. It's just a just a package uh, of data. Uh, it's not a, it's not an APK. So you cannot directly test it. The only way uh, you can manage to work not directly with AAB file is using the test track on the Play, Play Console. So this will enable to distribute the AAB, uh, well, the APK built uh, on the AAB uh, file uh, to your uh, testing users. But there's a way uh, to convert AAB files to APK files. So we can build the APK um, and then upload them uh, into app distribution. For example, if you're using Firebase uh, on your uh, on your side or any any tools for distributing uh, applications uh, for testing, and all of that is uh, is uh, you can use bundle tool. So uh, it's a it's a, a jar uh, a jar file um, built of, uh, by Google. So it helps us converting AAB files into APK files. So let's have a look at uh, the uh, Android app bundle and bundle tool. 
so uh, this is uh, the most useful uh, command line to, to use with bundle tool. So uh, you can build build APKs uh, from a, a given uh, given A B. So it will uh, give a uh, old set of APKs uh, that can be built with the A B. So obviously you can uh, install after the the APKs on your on your device. Um, uh, build APKs with connected device. It will target the right uh, the right APK to uh, to you got your, the the connected device. Uh, you can get the specs uh, of uh, connected device um, after make a, a combination of that. So uh, I'll try to do a live demo of that. So <laughs> let's see if it works or not. Uh, so, oh, come on. What? Why I can't do it uh, this way? Okay. New window, maybe. Nope. One. Huh. It doesn't have to be full screen. All right, so um, just uh, starting. Uh, I guess. Uh, all right, so live demo as always. Uh, all right, so this is my hopefully my device here, if it's okay, maybe not. Uh, all right, so here is, uh, nice. So we, uh, da, 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 da. So I actually have a folder here uh, with my uh, AAB file. I have the, the bundle tool jar here. So that's here where we are. So we have all the stuff here. Um, so if I'm doing the uh, AAB devices, I have my device here connected here. Uh, so I can do, I'm a lazy guy, so it's all on my history. Uh, I can get the spec, for example, of, uh, of my device. Uh, so running here, so it generates the specs here. And for example, here you have all the specs uh, about your device, what is supported. For example, it's supported French local, it supported all the ARM architecture, um, uh, the screen density, the SDK version, uh, so this is the all the specs for for my uh, for my device here. Uh, yes, too much drugs. And for example, let's see. Uh, let's uh, let's build our APKs. Uh, so we are using this method device specs now. Yep. So let's build, build, build. Uh, let's build the APK from the AAB uh, and we give in the output uh, some test APKs. So I don't have some key store, just at the up. Um, here you have the APKs uh, with the S at the end, so not APK, so it, like it's a list, a set of all the APKs um, that are uh, generated by the AAB. And let's see if I um, want to tell, uh, do, 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 do. let's see. 
Uh, here I want to build uh, the, the right APK uh, for this device. Uh, so uh, let's see like if I, uh, I'm trying to, to, do, to do it. Uh, uh, so what would the what would the thing check uh, check? So let's bring the uh, come on! I don't want you here. So uh, we have the bundle tool here. Want to uh, up build the APKs uh, to our connect device with this bundle. So bundle was to do to do to what was in its name up. Uh, debug dot ab uh, not need to do that uh, and the output uh, so the output will be up uh, uh, there uh, what was sample abb because I made mistakes if state based APKs. So let's see if this works. Of course, it's not because uh, it already exists. Okay, so I need to delete this one. Uh, I need it again. Uh, actually, in this uh, in this folder, we'll have the the right APK for the connected device. And uh, now, uh, I let's see how we can install this um, this APK on this device. Uh, so, uh, what would the command line? So, yeah. So we have our uh, if it is here, so I'll keep that. And it's not more an output, it's our APKs. And then we'll use the, the flag and the, the command, mostly, uh, install APKs. Uh, so hopefully it works. Nope, because uh, because I made a mistake while typing ATK, uh, of course. So install ATK is here. Uh, so it has been extracted. And yeah, this is my brand new app here. Ten no, this is installed, and if I open the application, uh, if, yeah, it's running uh, the way I want. So it's working, kind of. <laughs> so this is an introduction of, uh, of bundle tool, and you, you can set up a bundle tool with your CI and automate all the testing and distributing of uh, APKs to, to your tools or to Firebase uh, app distribution as, as you want. Uh, so this was a demo. And um, to sum up uh, the good thing, the bad thing, uh, the questions we, we can ask with uh, Android App Bundle, the good is that we are reducing the, the APK size and distributing smaller APK to our user. Um, this is very cool. It enables the use of play feature and assets delivery. Uh, so uh, it's a not well-known feature, but um, uh, it's, it can be very useful uh, depending on the, the usage. Uh, we'll have the positive impact with less download time and uh, targeting the right, uh, the right architecture of, uh, of the device. 
the bad thing is uh, you cannot install directly the AAB file on the on the device. You have to use bundle tool or like building APKs on the go. Uh, it's not very uh, very fun. Um, so no direct support on Firebase distribution. You have to use uh, the um, the testing track on the on the Play Store if you want to directly use uh, AAB. And you are stuck with the Play Store, so you can only deliver uh, AEB with the Play Store, uh, no custom store or other store. Now the question we may we may think is, um, uh, what is the best way to handle the testing uh, when you are uh, dealing with AEB? Uh, if we are using bundle tool, how we are using it with our CI/CD? Uh, that's the question. And if you uh, want to move the, your testing uh, to the Play Store, you, you may be may too coupled with the the Play Console. Uh, that's a thing. Uh, that's a thing you have to think. And I also uh, wrote a couple of months ago um, an article about uh, our journey at my company uh, to to distribute some to set up Android Ad Bundle uh, for, for our application. You can take a look at it, it's quite, uh, quite complete. Um, thank you for, for listening. I hope you, you will enjoy uh, the, uh, the AAB format and uh, you, will, you will take a look at it and you will have fun with it. And if you have any question, uh, feel free to, to ask. Awesome. So I think we have a couple of questions, Julian. Um, yep, on it. Uh, so uh, let's see my votes. Uh, all right. So for the questions uh, for ABs, uh, we have to rely on the Google Play managing the key store, right? Yep. So if in case Google Play gets breached, which is unlike highly unlikely, yep. Want all the light. All the apps be in risk. Uh, true, true. true. Um, uh, in fact, there is two kind of signing. There is a signing of on our part and a signing on the on the Play Store part. But um, in the end, uh, it will use the, the Google Play uh, signing. Uh, so, uh, yep, yep, yep. Uh, this can be a risk, indeed. But yeah, if there is a, a security breach uh, like this on the Google side, um, they are in trouble. Uh, is decompiling burdens uh, harder than decompiling APKs? Uh, does bundle makes apps more secure? No, that's the same. Uh, you can find the same information on the inside. So uh, not less secure, not more secure, uh, just a, a different format. Um, do, 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 do. Where are the signing config hosted that are passed to Fastlane in your CI, uh, Circle CI task? Um, for example, on our side, uh, we were uh, storing some, uh, some keys on S3, so we have a secure uh, secure S3 file uh, located uh, with a uh, with a S3 AWS. So uh, we'll get all we download this file to get all the information uh, on the CI/CD part, and then uh, we'll we'll build uh, our uh, APKs with that. Uh, where can we find bundle tools? Is is it part of the Android SDK tools? Uh, nope, you can find it on the on the GitHub. So if I'm still presenting, uh, up, you can type bundle tool GitHub. So yeah, that's the first. So here is the repository of bundle tool, and you can download on the on the release uh, section. You will have access to the to the jar file. Um, please remember a bundle may be dangerous sometimes. Uh, all right, good to know. I'll take a look. <laughs> uh, 
Oops. OAB uh, will, eff uh, will affect app resources shrinking. Um, so you have also, when you are building your, your AB, uh, you have to set up all the shrinking, uh, shrinking stuff you, you used to be uh, with, your, um, uh, with your APK building. Um, um, uh, keep that in mind, uh, this is not a replacement for uh, shrinking resources, uh, but it's for targeting uh, the right resources for, for, for the devices. How is this AIC process set up at your company? Uh, white pipeline set up, merging code. Uh, well, that, that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of stuff uh, to discuss. <laughs> it's a it's a CI/CD talk like, uh, right now. Um, well, uh, there is a lot of uh, job of end lane uh, for for our process, so uh, we can discuss that after after that uh, at the table if you want. Uh, and uh, is a bundle specific to Google Play Store or the third party store and share as bundle. Um, for now, I only see uh, AB just for uh, for the Play Store. And you, unfortunately, you cannot distribute outside of the Play Store. Uh, at the, uh, two, 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 for uh, managing the keystone, no, not this one. Uh, a bundle doesn't work with Firebase, means none of the of service of Firebase work. Uh, don't really uh, understand the question. Well, if you want to use Firebase app distribution, um, for now, uh, it doesn't handle the, the AB format. Uh, and it only supports APKs formats. So on, the, on your CI CD part, uh, you will have to, to use bundle tool, for example, uh, to, to build uh, the, the APK uh, you want for distributing your, your application to your test, testing users. Or uh, as we, we do uh, right now in, in my current company, uh, for testing sessions, we are only building uh, APKs uh, to the old-fashioned way, and we only build uh, AAB for uh, for production. I would as uploading to Play Store works. Do we need to create a service account on the Play console uh, and provide some sort of fascinating script? Thank you. Uh, yep. Um, so you will have to set up, set up some. Uh, uh, some script and some keys on the uh, Google platform, if I remember well. And on the um, Google Play Store, you have to provide a key uh, which comes from the, the the Google platform. It's kind of uh, of a hook uh, to be able to use the, the Play Store APIs uh, with uh, the CI CD, and uh, this will allow us to upload uh, the application to the Play Store. All right, so I'll be, I think I'll be around uh, uh, so here uh, for, for at least 30 minutes, I guess. So feel free to, to, to ping me, uh, that'll be there. Awesome. Yes, Julian, thanks a lot for this wonderful talk uh, on behalf of everyone attending. Thanks for answering the questions and uh, we will be going back to the lounge and uh, we'll be connecting again with Vajahat and uh, Martin on two interesting talks using Jetwag Compose to build games and understanding how to master API visibility on Kotlin. So thanks everyone so far and uh, we will connect again. Thanks.